Assalamualaikum and very uh, good uh, morning. That's the time I have to record this video. So I'm Muhammad Yusuf bin Kamar Zaman and on behalf of my research committee, I'll be presenting our review paper entitled A Review on the Notions of Food Heritage Conservation. My presentation today will flow according to the content listed in the slide. To start off as introduction, the, this review is based on the food heritage being a product of image representation, symbolism, and its mutual embeddedness with its birthplace. As we can see, the intrinsic um, features in the heritage food regards as the best quality. However, with the globalization and modernization that is happening, the popular consumption of foreign um, foods and inclusions of modern ingredients adulterated the quality of the heritage food. The purpose of this study review was sparked by the concern of negligence that the production and knowledge of traditional food, which is one of the instances of heritage, sorry, food, uh, heritage food being left in uh, with the elderly. And due to the modern life, these youngsters tend to go by the ease of purchasing foods uh, as it getting much more prevalent these days. We also see that there is a gap in which the scholarly literatures continue on the debacle of persisting traditional standards as it is and disregard modernization. Most would relate traditional food with the sustainability of environment in which bias the benefit of modernization. Therefore, this review aims to highlight the notions associated with the food heritage conservation as well as suggesting future research. This review was executed through selections of scholarly articles from various reliable resources with keywords that related to the topic of heritage food. Main articles were selected within the year 1994 to 2021 range um, with uh, a 1981 article to understand how heritage was understood back when. It is worth mentioning that this review is not conclusive of the entire food heritage um, context as articles on experimental or laboratory research were not used. On to our first discussion, we look into the significance of food heritage. The antiquities or uniqueness of the food heritage lies in the formation of the food itself, as the civilization of human being is specific to regional aspect. Differences between each group of people are to be expect, to be expected. These differences mark as separation parameters between each that are unique and should be conserved through, gen, uh, through the succession of generations. Cultural heritage uh, is one of the differences uh, that re revolves around the food each group consumes. Due to its intangible nature, it can easily be lost without us not noticing it. Now, although food is physical and endearing to our senses, the actual knowledge, skill and ideas about it are abstract and therefore intangible. Globalization may speak positively for some matters, but negatively to, to the other. For food heritage, uh, the antiquity of the food is arguably being put at stake. The modernization poses standardization that alters uh, the known quality of the traditional food, for example. From domestic production that uses foreign ingredients to the, indust to the industrialization, of mass production that seeks product efficacy on top of profitability instead of looking into the unique quality of the product themselves. Consequently, this offsets the knowledge and risk the identity of the traditional food antiquity. The use, uh, the issue of changes in, in, in the traditional food conferred to the term innovation or food innovation. It's the change made on a subject of food in order to improve any aspect intended. In relation to heritage food itself, this argues the very 
core aspect, which is the authenticity. Now, authenticity of any food heritage has been argued persistently in literatures that it is uh, a never-ending debacle. Until now, there is no one answer to how authenticity should be described and understood as scholars came up with arguments from various angles with legit justifications. Alas, this review acknowledged moderate moderation in innovation as the middle ground between those uh, arguments. After all, our heritage food was in fact an innovation at its day, don't you think? Now, while scholars continue on arguing what authenticity is, Left is looking into artisan or artisanal. Although artisanal food is a term people loosely use in food production, it may shed some light into the authenticity debacle. Understand as craft-like approach um, or art artistic method of making things, the former understanding of authenticity may as well fall into this category. People say authenticity is when a food is prepared exactly uh, the way it used to be made back in the day. But that connotation actually fit into what the term artisanal suggests. Don't you think so? Now, here are two pictures depicting examples for both artisanal and authentic authenticity in the baking of kuih bahulu. The picture on the left uses coconut husk holes on top of the lid and on the bottom of the mold. This is the old traditional way of baking kuih bahulu. Whereas on the right, modern high pressure stoves are being used for the bottom heat and coconut hot coals only for the top heating. This explains the moderation of innovation that both techniques will result in similarly smoky aroma to the kuih bahulu but improve in practicality on the innovative technique. As a conclusion, I, uh, we can we can act, we can never deny on the current of modernization wave, as it is there to improve our lives. We need to adapt and fine tune the suitability where changes are concerned. This is not to say that keeping the old and true traditional way is outdated or irrelevant. In fact, such artisanal delicacies could open up a new potential in the market contending superior quality for the consumers. To end my presentation, this review appealed to scholars to dig deeper into the food heritage of all aspects, especially the basics. Basics are the pillars that will ensure definition to, to any uh, heritage food of, from, and degree delineation. Plus, with the scholarly documentation, there will be a physical alibi to justify the intangibility of the food heritage or the food stuff. On the other hand, for practitioner, continuous practice is encouraged as what they say, practice makes perfect. This will ensure sustainability of scale that is essential for the conservation of the food heritage. And with that, I end my presentation for this record and good day and thank you.